After sketching the outline, I focus on drawing the eyes. The first thing is getting the boundaries right. The eyes have different colors, brown, black, white, gray, etc. The boundaries define areas where colors aren't mixed. I am coloring the areas for one eye. There is the eyeball with the iris and reflection. The reference photo doesn't really show a close-up of the eyeball. The eyeball has white and black areas of color with gradations of brown. The skin on the eyelid is different shades of gray. Then the hair surrounding the eyelid is black. The other eye has the same principles of coloring. However, the other eye is not symmetric. There are differences in every aspect. Only cartoons show eyes that are symmetric. Before I complete the surrounding hair of the eyes, I do the nose. The nose of the Japanese chin is high up compared to most breeds. It sits almost exactly in the middle between the two eyes. I lay a base layer of gray and add lighter and darker spots in circular motion. Finally, I use black to define the nostrils and the center line. 